Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janice and I love talking about and learning about all the different use cases and different applications of artificial intelligence. And today I thought it would be really fun to talk about three really cool tools that I have just discovered that apply AI to music. So please tell me that some of you have been following the whole Kanye Donda album release saga. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, Kanye recently released his latest album, Donda, and leading up to it, it seemed like he was teasing it for what felt like forever. He had three listening parties in which he played the tracks from his album or whatever was finished from his album at those times. And each listening party was completely different, not just in presentation, but in the tracks that he played. Sometimes he would add songs, sometimes he'd change who was featured on his songs. And I feel like a lot of people had very different opinions on the tracks. Sometimes they had very strong opinions about like what version was better, which tracks sounded finished, and which versions they hoped that he would release on the final released album. I know I personally wanted to see him release the Jay-Z, Travis Scott, and Kid Cudi tracks, but with so many different versions of these tracks circulating around out there, and with different tracks being at different stages of completeness, someone showed me on Reddit and YouTube that people have been applying AI to try to finish some of these tracks. And that got me thinking about all the different ways AI can be applied in the space of music. And I found some really neat tools, all free, that anyone can play with. Today I'm going to talk about three of them, and then I'm going to show you what I did to fill in a line on one of the unfinished versions of one of the tracks that he released on Donda. So number three is AVA, which stands for Artificial Intelligence Visual Artist, and it is the first AI to be recognized as a composer, which means it can actually release music under its own name. You can create music a couple different ways on the platform. You can choose from different preset styles, or you can upload your own track as an influence to have Ava dissect the track, learn about its style, beat, meter, key, and lots of other things to create a new track inspired by your track. It's actually quite impressive, and they have quite a bit of music Ava has composed that they put on their YouTube channel, so definitely go check that out to see what kind of music computers can make. I will say, though, that I think Ava struggles with influences that have really complex and layered beats, which are actually very common in rap and hip-hop. Ava also can't compose anything with lyrics, which would be very difficult to do. There are some lyrics generators with AI behind them, and they're extremely basic. But yeah, if Ava added lyrics generation and voice models, and they were able to generate vocals that sounded actually human-like and not like they were generated by a computer, then I think that would be really amazing. Number two on my list is one that someone actually told me about. It's called lalal.ai. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's L-A-L-A-L -L -L dot A-I. This is an application that lets you upload a track and separate out vocals from the instrumental part, drums, bass guitar, and piano parts. In order to effectively and cleanly separate out the different components within a track, they have to learn the audio features that make the vocals distinct from the instrumentals and the piano and bass guitar and drums. The demo they have on their site sounds great. No more waiting by the front door For you to come on home to me No more waiting by the front door 
for you to come on home to me. I think at least for the vocal instrumental separation, it works pretty well for pop songs and other tracks that have singing that is very clear and distinct. But again, I tried passing some fancier stuff through it, like one of Kanye's Donda tracks, and it was a bit messy. And, you know, sometimes the beat of a song has vocals. So this would pretty much fail in all of those cases. And number one on my list, which you may already know if you're on TikTok, is Uberduck. On their site, you can pick from a drop-down list of so many voices from Disney movies to Friends characters. They have a couple voice models of different characters from Friends to voices from random movies and TV shows and musicians, Star Wars characters. A lot of people have contributed by compiling voice samples and training voice models, and they have a whole tutorial on how to do it if you're interested in training a voice model of your own. But yeah, they have a dropdown of a bunch of different voices you can choose from, and you can specify what you want to hear that person or character say. And their algorithm will generate a little audio clip of whatever it is you typed being said in that person's voice. Could I be wearing any more clothes? And for the case of rappers, they actually generate an audio clip of whatever you typed being rapped in that person's voice. It's weird to have some of these voices saying the most mundane things. I went to the store to buy some pants. But now you might be able to see how this could be leveraged to manipulate rap songs. So this is the tool that I used to replace some mumbling that Kanye had on one of his early versions of his track, Hurricane, which he did release with Donda. He actually does release tracks sometimes where he mumbles, so sometimes it is intentional. But on this particular track, in the early version, it wasn't. I also saw on Reddit someone try to fix the mumbling using AI, but the lyrics, at least according to the lyrics for the released version, weren't quite right. Like we ain't had all the hood rats and mud rats. Like I ain't had them online without the drug rats. But it was impressive nonetheless, because it's all artificial. All I did was type in the lyrics that I wanted Kanye to rap in Uberduck, and I had to play around with the spacing and the pace a little bit, both in Uberduck and in my editing software, but I was able to get the words to line up with the beat as best as I could. And I also got an instrumental version of the click so that I could pop in my fake Kanye rapping in the right spot. Like we ain't had all the hood rats and mud rats Like you ain't had them good steps and all that I also didn't do any pitch manipulation and overall I think the flow is not bad. Some hardcore fans spend a lot of time trying to complete his unreleased or unfinished tracks and there's more and more AI and technology in general that make that hobby easier to do.
If you are interested in audio processing, it might be fun for you to play around with some of these apps. I will leave their names and links to them in the description box below. In this video, I also didn't talk about any sites or apps that generate lyrics because I think that's more on the natural language processing side. And there are so many cool models and apps in natural language processing as well. So if that's interesting to you, definitely let me know. And I would love to make a video on that as well. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me when I release them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh boy.